All right, so here in Britain, we might not do the best burgers. We might not do the, the greatest pizza. We might not even do the, the tastiest breakfasts, although that's a, at least debatable. But one thing we do do, do do, is the finest goddamn fish and chips on planet Earth. And that's what today's video is all about. I didn't poop this morning though, so I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Hopefully, uh, all goes to plan. What did, what did you just say? You I said just, you said I had no chance. I just said, look at the size of me. Look at the size of you. You've got absolutely no chance, you. Uh, Listen, with that damn beard and that yellow T-shirt on, you can do what you want, but you'll not eat that. <laughs> right. Right, today I'm at um, a place called the Misterton Chippy. Chippy and Bistro, sorry. It's, a, it's an upmarket chippy. It's in, uh, you said North, North Lincoln, North Nottinghamshire. That's close enough. And uh, I'm taking on their, uh, it's called the Cod Buster, right? The Cod yeah. Buster Challenge. Now I know it's pretty new, but has anyone... Nobody's done it yet. Nobody's done it yet. The people have tried I can see it, why. but everybody's failed. Everyone's failed so far. Okay. And you get 40 minutes, am I right? 40 minutes. Thank God, because this... You've got to eat a whole lot, bar the tartar sauce if you don't like tartar. <laughs> I'll eat the tartar sauce. The scraps, they're just there for decoration. Um, I might need a few more glasses of water, is that okay? Yeah. All right, let's get started. Start with the fish. Good day, Beard Army. Welcome back to another episode and pray a moment of appreciation, please, for yet another super funky backing track. This thing is saucy. Oh, I'm going to break up, let some of the heat out. Yeah, good call because, God almighty, these things were, um, oh, they were so hot. They were steaming. You can actually see the steam coming off them. Also, I'll, I'll try to keep the fish puns to a minimum from now on. How's <laughs> your fish, Adam? It's hot, but it's yummy. <laughs> yeah, yummy indeed. You might even say it was a sophisticated flavour. <laughs> oh, God, I, I'll, I'll stop. But anyway, yeah, they hit the fish was top notch. <laughs> it's warm. Yeah, you said that already. I think I'm still just struggling with the heat here. Um, at this point, I should warn you, there are a few close-ups of the beard in this video, like this one. And yes, there are some flecks of food in there. So if you're one of those people who haven't quite adjusted to the, the harsh reality of adult life yet, and you find that for some reason disconcerting, then uh, this might not be the video for you. Otherwise, Settle down, enjoy the ride, because we've got to prove that uh, random bloke from the beginning wrong and, and finish it. <laughs> this is like the thickest fish I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, that, that was no exaggeration. This thing was was thick. In fact, it's a, it's a shame it was caught, fried, and served to me for my satisfaction, because I think it was so thick, probably had a, a good chance of being in the next series of Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just the, the owner laughing there because I was pointing at this guy, a, a customer who was sat across from me, and, and he was looking at me like, I, I don't know, I was an extraterrestrial being or something. He really couldn't comprehend what, what was going on. I don't know, I'm not really eating that quick at this point, but he, he seemed to be impressed, impressed slash disgusted, something like that. Oh, plenty. I'll be finding this in my beard for like, I don't know, a week probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just joking there. I, I do, I swear, I, I wash my beard very frequently. Although I did one time find a, a, a strand of carrot in there, like, I don't know, about 30 hours after I'd last eaten carrot. That was weird. Right, that's pretty much, that's the 32 ounces of fish done. <laughs> the real problem is going to be this absolute mountain of chips. Can I take a picture while you're eating? Is that alright? What are you trying to do? Is my beard clean? Reasonably clean? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> uh, you know what they say. Ask a stupid question. Get a stupid and, and, and very honest answer. Because as you can see, there is fish in it. But you know, if, if I was going to have fish in my beard, I wouldn't want any other fish than this. This was delicious. 
<laughs> Good lord. Well, thank you very much. I don't mind. You can, you can pass it to me if you like. Thank you. They're delicious chips, though, which, you know, that, that helps. Oh, no. What? I Irish, Irish curry? Yeah. Does that exist? Yeah, Irish curry. Who knew? I mean, I, I think I'm like 12.5% Irish, so I should probably know that, right? But um, he was very protective of his, uh, his secret curry a recipe, and I can I can understand why because this stuff I don't know what was in it, but it was fantastic. <laughs> the picture actually makes it look smaller. Than... <laughs> <laughs> the picture actually makes it look smaller than this, so I was thinking, I'll smash it. This will be a piece of cake today. Yeah. I drove through a town called Belt On, which made me laugh because I'll probably have to take my belt off to to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that joke went down so badly. Probably because it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. That curry sauce is flipping lovely. It's right. I don't, there's something about it. It's not normal curry sauce, right? There's something about it. it does it have like some ginger in it? There's something in it that's not like usual. Keep your secrets, but it, it is. Yeah, it's lovely. Loverly. Yeah, the, the curry sauce, like I said, I'm not usually uh, a really big fan of, of chip shop curry sauce, right? It doesn't really do it for me, but this had something special in it. It tasted a little kind of gingery to me and a little sweet, uh, but I, I I really enjoyed it. If you're brave enough to have a selfie with me, get close enough to me after, after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave the fish in. That that is an interesting kink, but I guess you know <laughs> whatever floats your boat. If you're into fish. Can I possibly get a can of coke or something? Diet or full fat? Better make it diet, I'm watching my figure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that joke always plays, everyone loves that joke. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just pouring out some of the sauces now. It dawns on me, by the way, I haven't really mentioned anything about the challenge. So it's at a place called Misterton Chippy and Bistro. I almost forgot again. Um, and it's 18 quid to partake, which is an absolute steal. Trust me, that is really good value for the amount of food that you get. And uh, you get 40 minutes. If you finish it, it's free. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of mix the gravy and the curry sauce together and the mushy peas, because I'm not a huge fan of mushy peas, so I'm gonna... Just kind of make a fish shop cocktail here. I do love beans though, so I'm, I'm just gonna eat the beans as they are. Oh, they do, yeah. Almost forgot, you do also get uh, a free t-shirt. And interestingly enough, there are some parts of this which are optional, like the scraps front left. They're just bits of fried batter, really. You don't have to eat those, nor do you have to eat the tartar sauce if you don't want to. <laughs> you know what? If you have a spoon, a spoon might help you. <laughs> have you got like a ladle maybe? Or no, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> anything will do. The fork might be all right. This one will do, I think. Ah, the old ladle gag. The spoon did come in handy though to mop up all of this uh, slop. Oh, there's a wasp. I hate bugs. Really, I can't stand them, especially wasps. Right, I think the, the last official constituents of the challenge are these two slices of bread because you don't actually have to finish the, the scraps. Oops, said that already, but it's probably worth mentioning twice. Look at this wasp here coming in trying to mate with me or something, probably because I'm wearing yellow. I just hear it. I'm going to beat this food challenge while, while um, beating a wasp in combat. I'm not armed combat. <laughs> oh, did you see that fighting stance? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I was being a little bit dramatic there about, uh, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat with a, <laughs> a yeah, winged insect. Anyway, um, this is a great food challenge. It's, I think for sure this is the biggest fish and chip challenge in England. I don't know of any bigger. It tastes great. So if you're in the area, I would highly recommend doing it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Is that good? Yeah.
Yes, boss. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But well, then you have, you have to show me it. Hold it up like you're proud. <laughs> like a proud. I am proud. Fraser! <laughs> Please tell me you feel sick. Sick? No, I'm waiting for some of that carrot cake. You said it was carrot cake? <laughs> I wasn't joking, the carrot cake, yeah, I'll have a piece of that, please. Oh, at least look at this. It might be a little big, but it'll go in my uh, my room of like 300 t-shirts, so thank you. Oh, that was lush. Yeah, go on. Once you said carrot cake, that was it, I was, I was sold. I love carrot cake. Flipping yummy. Where did, that, where did that bloke go that said I wasn't gonna do it? Make sure you tell him. Yeah. I like it. Was this George Formby or something? <laughs>